Hi guys, Mr. Rothwaffles here. The Reckoning DLC 4 Advanced Warfare gameplay trailer has just dropped and I'm going to be breaking down all the cool ExoZombies stuff that it contains. The new ExoZombies map is called Descent and there's an awful lot to get used to here. So we're going to start things off with this shot of Oz. Obviously he's a zombie. This looks pretty familiar. And then there's this explosion which we didn't see previously and we see Oz. You can actually see him there in the sort of center left of the screen jumping up. So it looks like he's sort of jumping forward and then the explosion happens. And as you can see, not a fun time at all. Now let's jump into the details of the map itself. So before we had teleporting zombies, they were new on Carrier and we got used to them pretty quickly. They were actually part of the Easter egg. But what you'll notice about this one is there's a green glow left where its feet were. If we continue a little further, we see that it teleports again extremely rapidly. And we then see that this zombie is in fact a kind of hybrid. It's a cross between the teleporting zombies and the zombies that are green and infected and explode upon contact with you. Next, we go through a shot that isn't really very interesting, but then we see Lilith holding the blunderbuss, which is super cool because obviously that wasn't in the previous maps and more weapons is always a good thing. Going on further still, we get this shot here, and while there isn't a lot to say about this one either, we've got a 3D printer on the right there, we've got our open fire drop. What I want to point out is that on the right side of the screen, there is a new drop, and we're going to get another look at that in a moment. In this shot here, we see Lilith holding a gun that I don't actually recognize. It just looks a little bit weird to me. I don't really know what it is. So if you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comment section. It might just be me being a derp, but I don't think I remember it from the previous maps. Or I could be mistaken. We'll see. Leave a comment. Anyhow, moving on. Next shot, Lilith appears again, except this time she's holding the blunderbuss and in the background there's some really interesting stuff. It looks like there's an aquarium below and I think that that's the aquarium we saw right at the beginning of the trailer. But then in the background above, it looks like that may be the Exo Station. It's a fitting shape. It's like a circular area, nice and easy to access seemingly, quite an open room. And so I reckon that's where you're going to be grabbing your Exo suits. Got another hybrid zombie to deal with now. This one teleports, but it also has spikes coming out of it and it's purple. This is probably a combination of the blue zombies that used to teleport and the red zombies. I guess that would make sense because of the color and stuff. So the red zombies before were the ones with spikes in them. You shoot them and if you're too close and stuff, then you get hit by the spikes. And this looks like it's going to be quite a pesky foe to face. Next is a really cool addition to the map, in my opinion. The player jumps out, and obviously this is above ground, I should say, or rather above water. The player jumps up and gets inside a Goliath suit. They have homing rockets, they have rockets, they can self-destruct, they've got their health bar at the top, they've obviously got the machine gun that is part of the arm of the Goliath. Pretty damn awesome, in my opinion. And the interesting thing as well is that you can take these things into the boat. You don't have to keep them outside above ground, whether this is like spawn or something like that. You don't have to keep them there. You can go inside and we see that in the next clip. I want to point out that the player in the background as well is also boosting above this circular thing and there's someone standing on it. So it looks like that is going to be a super open room for us to access. And there's also a circular pad on the floor here, which I'm going to presume to be a decontamination pad because it looks exactly like the previous decontam pads that we've seen in the other maps. The player goes ham, uses some rockets, all good stuff. And then we see what looks like the new wonder weapon. It's called the Trident. And well, I mean, it sort of speaks for itself what it does from the gameplay. You see the player fire a blue ball of energy and it kind of ricochets around the room, bouncing from zombie to zombie and off the walls and things like that, going absolutely crazy and killing everything in its path. That pretty much wraps up the regular gameplay, but we then get something very, very weird. Oz says, time to mix it up. As if he is controlling the zombies in some way, or if he's controlling the area or something like that. But the thing that is really, really weird is that there's this kind of red flash, like a phase, like a zombie or something is phasing in. We see the legs and they're all blurred and stuff. But then we see this hand and it's spiked. And it has a knee pad. It's super strange. We go a little further and we get more shots of this thing. 
This really reminds me of the sort of Dragon Age, Red Lyrium inspired monsters. You've got these bulging, bulbous, weird protrusions from its back. You've got these massive red sort of thorns almost growing around it. It doesn't look like a happy bunny at all. And I mean, just what is going on here? You can see the spikes coming out of its chest. It's clearly got some like cargo pants on or something looking pretty swaggy, but it definitely doesn't look like something that is going to be very fun to come up against, or maybe it will. Anyway, I personally think this thing looks ridiculous. The red stuff around it, is that it teleporting in? Why can it teleport? What's the deal there? And why have they blurred so much of it? God damn it, I want more details. Anyway, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this Exo Zombies DLC 4 Descent gameplay breakdown, and I'll catch you in my next Exo Zombies video. Bye-bye.